You know him as Dwight Truth from The Office. Now he's headed underwater in the movie The Meg. It's all about a shark that makes Jaws look more like a goldfish than a great white. <laughs> Please welcome Rain Wilson. <laughs> Well, good morning Welcome to you. Up, Welcome to the Welcome show, up. man. Thank Welcome you. To good show. to be on the show. Well, it is Thursday, so Thursday's like throwback Thursday. Okay. So we went out. We found a yearbook picture of oh, you. Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> now, you said back then you were deep into nerd culture back in those days. Yeah. So what was a typical Saturday night like for you back then? What was it? A typical Saturday, Saturday night? night? No. Yeah. There was... It was it, it was a typical every night was a uh, I'm not making this up I'm not exaggerating in the slightest a, a Dungeons and Dragons extravaganza <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm talking about. You know. I mean, school's out. I, I'm not getting school's out on a Friday, 3 p.m. By 4 p.m., we're at Sean Higgins' house, okay, with with just a, giant, a vat of Fritos and Dr. Pepper, and then we play uh, through the night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, uh, until about uh, three. How did you find these photos? <laughs> this is like you are stalkers. Do. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually are stalkers. We're trying to see you playing Dungeons and Dragons when you weren't playing the bassoon. Yes, and when I wasn't playing Dungeons and Dragons, exactly, I was playing the bassoon. I got suckered into playing the bassoon, which is the nerdiest. Worst instrument in in life, you know. It's this. It's, if, I don't know if you've seen it. It's, it's like a big long tall. thing. Yep. You sit on the strap and it sits. But it, the sound it makes is like. <laughs> and uh, but my band teacher, he suckered me into playing it. I wanted to play the saxophone because the saxophone players were cool. Yeah. I, I play tenor sax and tenor sax. Sorry. You see what I mean? The cool, I'm not cool, cool but I play tenor. no, you're very cool. And <laughs> and the tenor and in my school, they got to like wear sunglasses sometimes and kind of do like a yeah, kind of a funky. That's like, what you wanted to do. But I no. wanted to do that, but I he said. You know, there's this other instrument that's way cooler than the saxophone, <laughs> and that is the bassoon. And I was like, sign me up. I had visions of like girls lining up around the block <laughs> to date a bassoon player, but it Not didn't so happen. Much. But I'm sure they're lining up now. I mean, look at you, baby. You're a Woo! you're a star. Right? It's being called like a cross between Jaws and Jurassic Park on steroids. Did yes. You, did, were you a Jaws fan? A Jaws fan growing up? The movie. Yeah, I mean Jaws. I mean that was such a, a huge movie for me growing up. I saw it like way too young. I think I was like 10 or 11, and it, it t absolutely terrified me. But Jaws, remember that was the first yeah. summer blockbuster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of changed the way that mm -hmm. Americans see movies and experience movies because that was the first movie where there were like lines around the block and. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it absolutely terrified me uh, of sharks. But I'm, I'm terrified of pretty much anything in the water. So I, you know, even if like a piece of kelp like brushes against my leg, I'm like, ah, 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 you know. So, um, but yeah, I was a huge fan of that. And and with the Meg, you know, no comparison to Jaws. We we set out to make the second best shark movie of all time. So, uh, right? Fair to, fair to say. Yeah. Fair to you're never gonna meet. Yeah. You're never gonna beat Jaws. But would y'all like to see a little bit of the mag? Yeah. I was sort of under the impression you're supposed to try to save people who are dying on the bottom of the ocean. I'm the guy who paid for all this. Uh huh. You know, he looks heroic and he walks fast, but he's kind of got a negative attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a billionaire. Then. I am a billionaire. Yes. I'm the, I'm the billionaire. He's kind of part comic relief and part villain in the movie, and uh, he funded the whole operation that uncovered this megalodon, this giant shark that starts eating people right and left. <laughs> and, and you said, you know, you say you've always been a fan of the megalodon. I got yes. the, you know, my, blah, 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 I got the tongue. Megalodon. Right megalodon. Mm -hmm. But your son even has a tooth. My How did he get a tooth? 
I on, honestly, I think my, my mom bought him a megalodon tooth. He was a huge dinosaur fan, and he's a huge megalodon fan for years before I did this movie. Oh. He couldn't shut up about him because he's like, Dada, they're the they're the apex predator of the entire world. There's, <laughs> there's never been a creature more powerful than the megalodon. And so my mom, I think she got a megalodon tooth on the black market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh I, I really do. I think, <laughs> I think it's illegal to trade in megalodon teeth. I have no idea where she got it. Her name is Shay Cooper. She lives, she lives in Greenfield, Massachusetts. If the FBI is watching right now, talk to me. Now the grandmother does anything for her grandson. I love that. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. And you know, you, Dwight from The Office, everybody loves your character. Now. Loves you for that. We had John Krasinski, Ed Helm, they were both here, and we talked about The Office, and they talked about who they would kill off if one of the characters had to go. Now, John said he'd kill off Pam. Ed said he'd kill That's off dark. everybody but Andy. Okay. So we're wondering, who would Dwight kill off? Who would Dwight kill off if he had to kill off someone um, from the office? The office. Yeah. Well, this is dark. Uh, <laughs> this is getting very, very macabre. But it would have to be Jim. Absolutely, Jim. <laughs> but I think um, I think that how he would do it is he would he would lure Jim to a field filled with like tambourines and noisemakers <laughs> and then let him go and then the aliens from a quiet place would eat Jim. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a crossover. <laughs> and like a They'd be like, ah! Be like, ah! I'd watch that. <laughs> Not that you put any thought into this at all. <laughs> you are an animal lover. I hear you have a zonkey. What in the world is a zonkey? I, I have a zonkey. I will. I really give credit to my wife. She she is the zonkey is. lover. And then oh, there's there's the zonkey. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Derek yeah. is his name. Derek is the. There zonkey. he is. Aww. Derek the zonkey. My wife saw a zonkey. She fell in love with zonkeys. They're of course half zebra, half donkey. And uh, she Googled. This is an absolutely true story. She Googled zonkey, and what came up was zebrasareus.com. Top top. Number one with a bullet listing. So she called them and was like, Do you sell zonkeys? And they're like, Oh, yeah. We just, in fact, we just had a little baby zonkey. 3500 bucks, and six months from now, we'll deliver him to your door. And my wife was like, Done. <laughs> six months later, a trailer rolls up, and this wild, horrible, little, but very cute little creature pulls up to our Aww. house. Yeah. Because they're, they're wild. They're, they're, yeah. Their zebras are wild animals. And, we and don't find these in the wild, do we? Zonkeys? Zonk no, there's a reason God did not bring Because <laughs> they have the worst qualities of both the zebra and the donkey. And it looks like a nice one in the pictures, though. No, no, I had to alpha male the zonkey. Oh. He was trying to, um, he was trying to be aggressive mm. and like dominate me. Mm -mm. And so I had to scare him. <laughs> I had to, I had to, we had a fight, we had a battle. It was kind of like Jason Statham and the Megalodon. <laughs> it was like, I had pots and pans and I would come down when I would feed him and he would come at me and he'd be like, <sighs> and they'd like, buck, you know, he'd buck my way and he'd kind of like come up and I'd go, ka, 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 ka. and then, um, He'd, he'd run away, and then I'd, I'd literally do like you're, what you're supposed to do when you see like a bear on the trip. For those of you who don't know, this is what you do if you see a bear. I would just go, ah! and dominate him. And uh, the. You uh, showed him uh, who's the I showed him his boss. Fun yeah, house. Fun house. Fun house. I tell you what. I'm moving in with Wayne, Wayne Wilson, everybody. That's where I'm going. Anytime. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.